Um, Sadiq Khan, the London mayor, says that Donald Trump's re-election will spark abuse of him and his family. Uh, obviously, um, the repellent runt, as I like to call him, the London mayor, has frequently entered into wars of words against Donald Trump, uh, former president of the USA, uh, fighting again for re-election uh, this year. Well, re-election because he was sort of ousted a few years ago. Uh, Sadiq Khan has revealed his worry about Donald Trump's potential re-election, voicing fears about surging hate towards himself and his family. Now, let me just make this very, very clear. Um, I think that any sort of abuse or hatred that is towards uh, 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 Sadiq Khan, you know, actual threats of violence or anything along those lines, absolutely unforgivable. And the fact that anyone would need to do that feel the need to do that is 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 completely and utterly wrong but let me make it very clear people don't hate you Sadiq Khan because of Donald Trump people hate you because you are repellent virtue signaling failing on every single metric as a mayor crime has gone up through the roof you're destroying London you've made it the worst city to live in since you have become mayor you weaponize the very things that you claim to fight against, like prejudice and all of those sorts of things, when it suits you. And if you are going to be feeling less safe in London, well, now you know how the rest of us feel, because you can't leave your house in London now without someone trying to steal your phone, someone trying to stab you, or uh, hoping that you get through your leaving your house without it getting burgled. So what a load of nonsense. And if you are feeling less safe in London, well, like I say, now you know how the rest of us feel. Julian Drucker. Mm, you're a fan of Sadiq. It's interesting to see, I mean, we've only had Labour in for seven weeks. He's mayor now with a Labour government. This is sort of obviously the first yeah, time. Yes, so we can't happened. blame everything so, on everyone so else So this now. new dynamic has not really been explored yet. But uh, yeah, it's going to be harder for him to to have a go at the government, isn't it, obviously? Well, it, he's, he's, he's always like, it's climate change, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's the weather, it's the government, it's, 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 it's socioeconomic factors. It's never, ever his fault. Oh, unless it's something good, like Team GB coming back with their medals, then he's right in the front in all those pictures because, like, he, he, takes, he takes praise for anything good and absolves himself of responsibility for anything that goes wrong. He is the mm. most virtue-signalling, public relations-obsessed mayor that I have ever seen, and I lived through Boris Johnson, for goodness sake. Um, but do you think he should be wading into the American election? Well, look, he sense? has had death threats at various points, hasn't he, Sadiq Khan? Yeah, but I think say. a lot no, of people of in politics true, have. Yeah, Theresa May did by the same person, I think. Um, should he be wading? I think he used to quite enjoy these spats with Donald Trump, didn't he? And, actually, and now you've got a vice president who's likely to probably go even further than Donald Trump, if, if it's J.D. Vance, who said about Britain being an Islamist country. He made a joke, didn't he? Um, I think he thought Sadiq Khan had become the Prime Minister. He was talking about Keir Starmer, wasn't he? Um, so he's probably he's going to get it from two people rather than just one. Well, time. it'll be interesting if Trump wins, because then you've got someone very senior in the Labour Party, because the Labour Party have sort of dialed down some of their Trump rhetoric Yes, because they've got to now. Because they've got to, yeah, yeah. because that's what happens when you're in government. Mm. Um, I'm not sure that um, Sadiq Khan should be talking like this. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm, uh, he is entitled to his opinion. Well, they can't have online rows because obviously tr is Trump Trump still not on X, is he? I don't he think on... he is. Um, but I just, if I was the London mayor, I would be very careful about talking about feeling safe in London. That's all. Yes. Because yeah. I don't know anyone that feels safe in no. London anymore. And um, again, he's absolved himself. He's literally police and crime commissioner, yet has absolved himself of, of any of the responsibility over keeping Londoners safe because he simply blames the government for police cuts when it comes to um, the issues in London. So if, if it's nothing to do with him, why London is doing so badly when it comes to safety, well, then what's the point in having a mayor who's the police and crime commissioner? Mm. You can't have it both ways. We've all got crime numbers. I mean, my car got broken into. They give you the, give you the number afterwards and, and then anything else no that's it then you get an email saying we're not going to investigate it oh um i mean this is standard and then that's for your insurance then isn't it so and you also don't get the um uh, stats on notting hill carnival crimes do you anymore no no these just the journalists I'm well it's the now. reporting of this so obviously there was a big incident a couple of years ago a homicide um, but last year as journalists we used to get sort of hourly updates from the met on the numbers of stabbings that sort of thing 
Uh, as of last year, it was more of a sort of rounded day-to-day -day figure, but they, I suppose they felt they wouldn't do this for other events. They wouldn't give out hourly numbers of and, stabbings, etc. And last year, it was seen as sort of a successful yes. year because there was only 10 stabbings. Yeah, no one died. Only the 10, because no one died. It's, it's what, I mean, imagine any other event in the world in a city, again, presided over by Sadiq Khan, who has the audacity to talk about safety, <laughs> and then there are 10 stabbings on uh, what was supposed to be a family event. It's outrageous. I would not, if I were you, Sadiq Khan, be talking about safety.